Hello, my name is Steve Smith from Siemens Technical Support. Today we're going to be working with the KTP 600 PN HMI and the totally integrated automation portal version 12. We're going to be using our mixer project to add the KTP 600 PN HMI. So I'm going to start by opening the TI portal and opening our mixer project. When the project opens, we're going to be in portal view. Once again, we'll be using device and networks and we'll be adding a new device. It's going to be the mixer, HMI. So we go to HMIs and we select Somatic Basic Panel, 6 inch display, KTP Basic Color PN, and then add. A few seconds later, the device wizard will start and guide us through configuring the HMI. First thing we need to do is select our PLC connection and this is done via the drop down box. I select the mixer CPU and I tick. The Profinet connection is then enabled. Next thing, screen layouts. I'm going to use a header, date and time and I also want to introduce my company logo. So I browse for the company logo into pictures where I've saved the Siemens logo and I click on open. The Siemens logo is then automatically placed onto our background. Next thing, alarms. Here you can have unacknowledged alarms, pending alarms and active system events. I want all of these so I'm going to leave them ticked. And next thing is screens. I can configure my screens here already. I start off with the root screen, which I can rename as my main. And then I can add another screen if I wish. I'm going to call this process. I'm going to add another screen, which I'm going to call engineer. And now I'm going to go to next. System screens allows me to have project information, user administration, system information, and if I have a multilingual project, a language switch, and also can change the operating modes. If you don't want it, then you untick. The final part are buttons, which I've already configured, and these are the switches for language, the alarms, and the home screen. All done, we then click on finish. And when we finish all this, the finish button closes the wizard and creates our HMI project. A few seconds later, our HMI project is created. I need to assign an IP address to this configuration. So I go to device and configuration and then click on the device itself. In Profinet interface, I see ethernet address. I'm going to assign the IP address 192.168.0.2 to this HMI. Once done, I'm going to go to my main screen and I'm going to add the system clock byte which we previously configured to the screen. So I go to PLC tags, so default tag table and I see the clock byte. I pick up the clock byte and just pull it onto the HMI screen and a tag and connection are automatically configured. So before we download, we need to assign the IP address 192.168.02 to the HMI. And this is done via the control panel of the HMI. So specify IP address. One nine two one six eight zero two if everything's okay with that we then okay
and close the control panel and then put the panel into transfer. I'm now going to download my HMI project into the HMI itself and this is done via the white download button. The extended download to device dialog box opens up and the TIA portal will connect to IP address 192.168.0.2 and now we're ready to download. I click on the white download button and the extended download to device dialog box opens up. We attempt to connect to 192.168.0.2. Once we've connected we're then able to download using the load button. The load preview dialog box opens up and then we are invited to overwrite and load. The project is then downloaded into the HMI. After the download completes, the HMI goes into runtime and we connect onto the CPU. We now see the system clock byte which we configured in our previous presentation being displayed. And that now concludes adding a HMI KTP600 to the S7-1200 mixer project. Thank you very much.